Welcome back, everybody, to the newest edition of Music Theory Mondays. Today we're going to be taking a look at a topic known as chord inversions, okay? Now, if you're unsure on what a chord is, then this is definitely not the right video for you. Please go back into the Music Theory Mondays playlist and look toward the beginning and take a look at all the examples of chords, major, minor, major 7, minor 7, dominant 7, etc., all right. Chord inversions are essentially where you take a chord and we'll just take the chord of C major as the example. All right. And what you're going to do is you're just going to rearrange those notes. So if you're playing with the root note on the bottom, that's considered root position. If you're playing with the third of the chord on the bottom, then that's the first inversion. And if you're playing with the fifth on the bottom, then that is the second inversion. And then, of course, what's left is you just returning back to the root. All right? Now, you can do these with triads. You can do it with sevens, right? And if, in, in that case, you'll then have a third inversion. It won't always sound great because of the interval distance between the major seven and the octave, but nonetheless, it's there. A lot of times with the sevens, you would probably rearrange the chord, maybe drop the bass note to the left hand just to make it a little bit more easy on the ears. But anyway, you can do this with all of your chords. You want to you wanna remember you got to learn the major scale first, and then from the major scale, you then learn the chords, right? So here's your C major scale. Here's your C chord in root position, first inversion, and second inversion. If we were to take the two chord in the key of C, which is D minor, there's root position, first inversion, second inversion, all right? Now, not only is it really good to be able to play these, recognize them, know them by heart. You can also turn them into exercises. All right, so there's a lot of good value here in knowing this stuff. Most important being just know the language and be able to adapt from all angles, right? So that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you're all well. Thank you for watching.